Recycling is a process of collecting and processing materials that would otherwise be thrown away as trash and turning them into new products. It can benefit your community and the environment. Make sure you're putting the right materials in your recycling container. Items or materials made from paper, cardboard, metal cans, plastic bottles and jugs. They all have a specific container. For this task you just have to follow some simple steps such as Never bag the item you want to recycle. Know what to throw away. Empty the products container. Cleanse and dry and throw it as it is in their specific recycle bin. Here are 10 reasons why you should consider recycling. 1. Recycling paper saves water. We all know that recycling paper products saves trees, but did you know that it saves water too? Water is a primary resource that is a vital part of the paper manufacturing process needed at several stages. For every ton of paper made from recycled scrap, about 26,460 liters of water are conserved. 2. Recycling paper saves trees. The recycling of paper is the process by which waste paper is turned into new paper products. We can actually save our environment by recycling and spending less money on paper. Here are some facts about the issue to produce each week's Sunday newspapers. 500,000 trees must be cut down. Consider that one ton of recycled paper can save almost 29 meter tall trees, 26,460 liters of water, almost 1,512 liters of oil, and over 4,000 kilowatt hours of energy. If you want to make a difference, minimize the usage of paper as possible and consider recycling. 1 pound of aluminum, 33 cans, saves about 7 kilowatt hours, kWh, of electricity, with the energy it takes to make just one new aluminum can from bauxite ore, you can make 20 recycled aluminum cans. During the time it takes you to read this sentence, 50,300 milliliter cans are made. 350,000 aluminum cans are produced every minute. An aluminum can that is thrown away today will still be an aluminum can 500 years from now. Aluminum is considered a sustainable metal, which means it can be recycled again and again with no loss of material. After the consumer throws the cans and foil into the bin, it is collected, treated, remelted, made into large blocks called ingots, rolled out and then made into aluminum products. In as little as 6 weeks. The recycled aluminum products are then sent back to the shops ready to be used again. 4. Recycling stimulates the economy while saving the earth. Goods made from recycled materials use less water, creates less pollution and uses less energy. The more we recycle, the more jobs are created in the recycling industry. More than 56,000 recycling and reuse enterprises employ 1.1 million workers nationwide. The study, More Jobs, Less Pollution shows that a 75% national recycling rate would create nearly 2.3 million jobs while reducing pollution by 2030. Examples of recycling businesses include steel mills, paper manufacturers, glass manufacturers, material reclaimers, converters, and recoverers collection centers, recycled material wholesalers and so on. 5. Recycling helps our climate problems and global warming. It produces considerably less carbon, which reduces the amount of unhealthy greenhouse gas emissions. Over time, exposure to those gases can cause serious health problems, like asthma. Toxic liquids draining into water tables can also negatively impact health. A sustainable solution to fight plastic waste, to avoid more climate damage requires diplomacy, enlightened policy, and prevention. 
it is no longer viable for wealthy countries to continue dumping their plastic on poorer ill-equipped ones, and encouraging voluntary behavior changes lays the groundwork for sustained plastic reduction. A general awareness of how to recycle properly as well as reuse, share or repair assets instead of purchasing a new can greatly reduce waste generation. 6. Recycling protects wildlife and ecosystems. The ocean is like a soup of plastic mostly composed of fragments invisible to the human eyes, killing life and affecting dangerously our health. Here for Dency, EC President. Recycling reduces the need to grow, harvest or extract new raw materials from the earth. That lessens the harmful disruption and damage being done to the natural world. Fewer forests cut down, rivers diverted, wild animals harmed or displaced, and less pollution of water, soil, and air. If you want to make a change and protect animal habitats you can avoid using single-use and disposable plastics like bags and bottles, straws, cups, plates, silverware, and razors. Buy vegetables and legumes without pre-packaging and look for products and packaging made from renewable resources. Reuse preferably non-toxic containers like glass, stainless steel to make less waste. 7. Recycling glass reduces air pollution. The main raw material used to make glass is sand. When the glass is made, the sand is melted at very high temperatures, and it becomes liquid. Evaporation from the molten glass and raw materials can cause release of particles into the atmosphere. This fact has a negative influence on our health, but on the environment's health too. When thrown, a modern glass bottle would take 4000 years or more to decompose. The recycling process is kind of like this. The consumer throws glass into a recycle bin. It is taken to a glass treatment plant, where it is sorted by color, washed, crushed, melted, molded into new products, or used for decorative uses or brick manufacture. It is then sent to the shops, ready to be used again. It doesn't degrade trough the recycling process, so it can be used repeatedly. 8. Recycling saves energy. Conservation of energy is the key element for the fight against climate change. While the amount of energy we save by recycling varies depending on what type of material we are recycling, almost all recycling processes save significant amounts of energy when compared with processes that use newly extracted or raw materials. By using recycled materials we save on energy consumption, which keeps production costs down. Since recycled materials have already been refined and processed once, the second time around, manufacturing is much less energy intensive than the first. 9. Recycling preserves the future. By being aware of our consumption of recyclable products, and how we are sorting them for waste will allow our future generations to live in abundance. Check your city's website to learn more about following its policy regarding proper recycling. Informing households of how they can limit the amount of waste they generate helps future generations improve their recycling efforts. If you care about your future, work towards progress, creativity, kindness and lasting impact. The awareness of the need for global conservation of resources is growing, and people begin to care more about the environment they live in. This is a good sign, and it shows that people care about their future and their children's. Let's make the world a better place. Together we can do it. 10. Recycle more, spend less. Old clothes, curtains, tea towels or bed linen can all be turned into something new and wonderful. Don't throw them out, use your creativity to make something unique for your own taste. In these times, it's always good to save some money. While it's true that you will not save a lot of money by recycling used materials like aluminum cans or glass bottles, but the more you will choose to recycle, the more benefits you'll have in the long term. The cost of aluminum would be high if people did not recycle it, 
because making a new can from scratch as compared to making it from an existing can is huge. If you'll want to recycle paper, in the long run, the cost of paper will be less and there will be no shortage of paper. Thank you for watching our whole video. As a reward we'll show you some bonus facts about recycling. Recycling reduces air pollution. Recycling can reduce the amount of waste sent to incinerators. Incineration produces emissions containing heavy metal, chemicals which are responsible for acid rain and global warming. The toxic ash produced also pollutes soil and groundwater in landfills. This is the reason we should keep the air clean by conserving energy, and planting more trees, and also saving the existent ones. Recycling plastic saves oil. Plastic is made from natural gas or crude oil derivatives. A large amount of petroleum is used in the production of new plastic products. Up to 40% of oil consumption can be reduced by recycling plastic waste. After lots of strategies and tests, to fight oceans of plastic pollution, and convert them into something valuable, researchers found that there's a new technique in which plastic can be converted back to liquid fuel, by heating them at high temperature.